It's been an age since the witch last visited our village. In truth, I can't be certain she lives in the We find her vanished. We must keep faith. There must be option, some small clue. Yet for all the danger, this pond feels quite comfortable here. Magic or aught similar hangs thick in the air. Seems we've arrived. There. That must be it. 
Come on, cuz. Like the house is up in a tree, there is definitely a witch living there. The girl known as the witch is here. you not of the dragon, that the faith might leave you be. Yes. Then it seems we must turn to the faith if we are to learn more. You have our thanks. We'll leave you in peace to return to our village. Well, this was a waste of time. Thanks for nothing. this handsome face before. I promise which lady? Kina's aims are fulfilled. She seems quite grateful, isn't she? Kina is safe. Thank the Maker. Pray, forgive her. If she acts the fool, tis only cause concern overwhelms her sense. She is like you in that, always setting off without so much as a thought. Most like the fault of ill parenting, which makes the blame mine then, eh? Horrible <laughs> parenting indeed, Chief. Why, it's not fucking funny. The witch wood was scary and you're laughing. The Chief was put at ease. ask this of anyone but you, cousin. I have news for Eric. Dark news. I fear I cannot bring myself to face him. Will you go in my stead? What happened? His brother is dead. It happened on the shore ways. We were fleeing the worm, and he... Cortez leapt before the beast talons to shield us. I saw it. Saw him hurtling through the air. Saw him fall back to the ground. I did nothing. Just watch the poor man die. I cannot face Merrin for the shame of it. He deserves to know what happened, but I... Please, please go and tell him. It will not be easy, but we had best go tell Merrin. It's dark news, to be sure, but it must be heard. Chief suffers in these times, that there was some way to help him. They say when a dragon appears, it portends doom on all surrounding lands. I know of villagers that packed all and struck out for safer waters after an attack. What? Cortez is found? The over said he's dead. I... I see. Elvar has suffered in this as well. Cortez made his choice. He faced his end with valor and died a man. Elvar bears no fault in that. He has no cause to blame himself. My thanks, good Fisher. I am sorry this burden fell upon you. I shall go and 
Uncle Del Marides. The least we can do is pay our respects to the dead. We've done as asked. Lest we advise Elvar with it. I thank you, cousin. Pray forgive the trouble my cowardice has placed upon you. Cortes did not trade his life for mine, so I could wallow in idle self-pity. I live the best I am able, for his sake. Cortes's grave stands by the chapel. Perhaps we've time to pay our respects. to commit the verses to memory. Without the text, I... I cannot offer up a proper prayer. The scriptures were secure in the chapel last I saw them. I do not wish to believe them stolen. If you come upon them, pray see them back to me. I would be ever in your debt. Where, would a Where could that book have gone? Ah, the village chapel. Who oh, is like... What are you doing out here so late? It was me. I confess it. I took the father's book from the chapel. I tried to go back and find the book, but I was in such a panic as I ran. I just wanted to look at it. Just curious is all. Forgive me. I cannot remember where I lost it. I popped to steal a glance and then return it, but the dragon came and I... I dropped it as I ran. Cole, what am I to say to him now? Guys, I remember seeing was on the roof on the day that the dragon came. Like, let's go and check there, dude. Like, found it. I'd wager other out-of-the-way spots hide such items. For now, let's return to Clement. The scriptures! You found them! Oh, make her be praised! I cannot thank you enough. Truly, the people of Cassidus are a good-hearted bunch. Now I can once more offer proper prayer on behalf of the village. But I have dallied long enough. There is work for me to do. We seemed well relieved to have the scriptures back. Just to think of it. Ah! Uh, I was. Uh, I made no excuse, cousin. I hid in the well for fear of the dragon. I should have to. Let me tell you this. You'd be wise to keep your distance from that pit. I was too craven to venture far. A lucky thing. A queer growl echoed back with the sound of water from further in. There's all down there. Mark my words. I could feel it, I could. You not see me going back down there to find out what? Well, I have strong friends now. We can go look. What? You mean to go down there? You're a right hero. Here, if you're set on going, take this with you. It should have some use to it left. I'll not soon forget your bravery, cousin. Pray, just come back alive. The beasts in the well are weak to ice. The beasts in the well are weak to ice.
The beasts in the well are weak to ice. What's this? I'll take that. Slain the monsters of the well, have you? Truly, you are a wonder, cousin. I think upon it, twas my hiding in the well what brought the danger to light. I take no credit, mind. I simply feared I'd be blamed for releasing monsters upon the village for having opened up the well. Tis a relief and all you're doing, cuz. Here, I owe you at least this much for all you've done. I shall strive to learn from your example. Commit myself to becoming a soldier fit to defend the land and its people. Honest. And I thought I was the coward. The caves at the well's base run deeper than you might think. I know from the echo what returned my screams and whimpers. Tis fortunate we stemmed the threat ere it reached the village. Seems these rooms are frequented by peddlers and the like. Seems a fair place to rest. Oh, I know you. You took up steel and drove the dragon from Cassidus, yes? I heard about that. And of course you know me. I come here now and again to restock my wares. Uh, you do recall me, yes? Madeline? Finest peddler in all Grancis? Ravishing beauty of legend and song. Hello, my sister. Madeline. Well, no matter. I've bigger problems. These are dark days, so terrible as to drive even I to the brink of tears. And yet, just when I need the aid of one both clever and strong, you arrive. Truly, fortune means us to partner together. Don't you agree? Like, indeed, Madeline. <laughs> Only a fool. 
could mistake the thread of destiny what links us. You will be my savior true, and after me, the world entire. And with that, we must be off. I trust you know of the encampment outside the village. I must travel there with all speed, but the wilds are perilous of late. Would you see me there safely? Sure, let's get going, shall we? Let us leave this place. We'd best see to Madeline's safety. It is but a short walk, but we mustn't grow complacent.